one of the visionaries or guys who developed the sport is um, is a chap called Wes Miller. As far as credibility in, in the scene goes, Wes is right up there. He's got his own freestyle racing team. He's, uh, he races in the Baja 500 and the Baja 1000 and has his own film company. Black Rock Studios, um, they came to me when they had this idea of doing an ATV game and they wanted me to be kind of a, an industry consultant to lend authenticity to the game. But hearing from Wes firsthand and seeing how they think about going into a trick and how they feel when they're doing the trick is crucial to us as animators. I own a company called H-Bomb Films and we actually make ATV videos. He was able to show us a lot of really good footage, especially like in slow motion of how the particles kicked out from the, uh, from the vehicles and the mud and the stones. When the designers from Blackrock came out to Glamis, I don't think they knew what they were in for. It's like Mad Max or something, Glamis jeans. It's absolutely fantastic. It's tens of thousands of people turn up with their RVs and trailers full of either ATVs or sand rails or dune buggies. It really gave them a good snapshot of what the whole ATV world is all about. It was great to be able to come back, bring all that back to the studio um, and you put that into the game and get that kind of excitement, that amazing sensation across to the player. He's kept our feet on the ground, that's been his, that's been his main role. Having someone that's so grounded in the scene is just, you know, it's an asset that we, we couldn't have done without.